guys, I'm sure you're disappointed in, in the loss, but uh, the fact that it was anybody's game with 10 minutes to go, can you take any solace away from that but for both of you? Yeah, I think uh, I think first of all, our defense played their ass off. Um, you know, the whole game, props to them. They did everything they could. Um, offensively, I thought, you know, we put drives together, just couldn't finish them. Um, so it's obviously something we gotta gotta work on, but super proud of our defense. Those guys, you know, like I said, balled out and uh, you know, gave us a chance to win. Uh, I guess flip side of that for the defensive side of things, um, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, you could take a lot of positives from it. Um, you know, with losses, you know, you always want to, you know, learn something from it. If you just, if it's just a loss, then, you know what I'm saying, it's meaningless. But trying to gain some things from it, we got a lot to clean up defensively, um, especially kind of, you know, limiting explosives in the back end. Um, I had one I really should have got better at, um, and then a couple just miscommunications in the back end. And so, you know, that's, you know, it's week two, um, got a lot of t uh, time to get better. But I guess defensively, you know, we played a good game, um, you know, but, you know, uh, it's tough when it, it feels like it slipped away from you at the end of the game. And so that's one thing I feel like we need to focus on is, is uh, being able to finish. Um, and I think, um, you know, we wouldn't have this, you know, feeling um, that we're having right now. Coming into the game defensively, I mean, did you guys see that there were opportunities like this for you guys to, especially in the first half? I know things kind of got weird there late, but uh, just that performance in the first half, kind of outside that one drive, pretty much held it in check. Yeah, um, you know, Coach Simons um, and, and the rest of the defensive staff, they, you know, put us in, you know, great positions. Um, we knew how fast that they went. Um, all week, you know, we were trying to get great looks from our scout team going as fast as they could. We went against the offense a couple of times, made them go as fast as they could. Um, so we really felt, you know, really prepared. Um, we knew what we were going to get out of certain formations and it showed up, um, you know, obviously, you know, lack of communication, you know, here and there gave up touchdowns. But for the most part, um, we knew exactly, you know, for the most part, what we were going to get out of these different formations. Seems like the offense is maybe just like one click away from really connecting and, and really being good. How much work has to go into that? Is that settling down in certain situations? What kind of goes into everybody kind of finally getting on the same page there? Yeah, like I said, I thought uh, we put together some good drives. Um, you know, once we got past the 50, you know, that 40, 30 red zone range, we, we you know, halted a little bit. And I think that's where we really got to hone in and, and get better at finishing those drives in the red zone. Um, you know, whether it was a miscommunication or, you know, a missed assignment, we just had that one, you know, one thing that kind of threw the whole drive off, um, but, you know, all fixable. Um, so, you know, it's right back to the chalkboard, um, right back to doing what we do. Um, but I think we can clean it up. That two-point conversion, did you ever lose sight of, uh, of Preston? <laughs> Maybe for a second. Um, <laughs> I think it was uh, 4 or 12 or someone uh, was turned into a face-guarding deal. So it was, uh, yeah, I probably lost him for a second there. But Preston made a great throw. Trusted me to you know, make that catch. And, you know, I got I to gotta do it for him. So it worked out. But Coming into an environment like this with 80,000 people and a nationally ranked opponent, You've got a talented quarterback, but he's still a young quarterback. What do you think of Preston's performance today? Uh, Preston played really well. He played his heart out. Um, that dude is tough as nails, and uh, you know I trust him completely. So you know, I, like I said, I think he played really well, and I'm excited to see what he does for us this season. I know you guys thought you had a good defense coming into the year, had a solid game last week, but against this kind of opponent, how much belief does that add to the room that? Like you said, if you make those little fixes, this can really be an elite defense. Yeah, and, um, you know, having, you know, obviously a lot of hype um, that we had came in with, knowing, you know, we had got guys that came in and transferred in, and we also had guys that were still on our team and got a lot better um, from the spring and also to, you know, training camp, and, you know, now you're seeing the fruits of the labor now. But um, that's one thing we always kind of hold our hat on. You know, we want to be an elite defense, and we know that we have the pieces and the, the coaching staff and, you know, just the players and the depth to do that. And so, you know, when it comes down, you know, like menace or, you know, just little things as communication, like that's when you get frustrated as a defense, when it's not, you know, it feels like you beat yourself more than, you know, the opponent had ended up scheming you up or doing some things like that. And so... It gives us a lot of confidence um, moving towards next week, but you know, obviously, we got we got to learn and, and get a lot better. You know, just at the day one little thing, and so that's where our heads at. I know you guys haven't been at SMU long, but this is the type of game that five, ten years ago would have been over at halftime. You know, was kind of a show up, get kind of drilled, and and go back home. What does it say about this group that 
you guys were in it there to the very end, and and this program has really taken that step forward. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's a completely different mindset. You know, we came into this game expecting to win fully, um, and you know, it's obviously it sucks that we lost, but we battled to the end, and uh, I think we're all proud of that. Um, but like I said, we expected to win this game as you know as much as any other game on our schedule. Um, so I think that's where we're at. We want to be that type of team, and uh, you know, we're getting there. Steps have been taken. Yeah, I think it kind of speaks to kind of the maturity um, of the team and of this group that we have. Um, a lot of guys, um, you know, play some ball and, you know, just young guys that are just mature already as it is. And so um, kind of just gives us um, a sense of, you know, we just got to be a little bit more persistent. But we know um, kind of how talented we are um, and we know how good we can be when we're firing on all cylinders. And so we know we can, you know, beat any opponent that's on our schedule. And this, as Jake said, this was just another game on a schedule for us. Um, dope environment, obviously. Um, but, you know, when you strap it up and, you know, all the, the cloud setters, we just know it's just guys, X's and O's. And so that's kind of where our head's at. Jake, as far as uh, getting there with that one click that Jordan kind of talked about uh, offensively, is it is it like simplifying things here and there that make you know, maybe it might just help you guys yeah. click a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, still early in the season, a lot of things yeah. to clean up, um, you know, a lot of young guys on the field, um, you know, all sorts of things. Could be a lot of different things, but uh, like I said, fixable, you know, not things that, you know, are going to hinder us hopefully in the future, things that we can, you know, go in Sunday, Monday and, and get fixed right away and uh, we'll be better for it. So learning lessons.